I'd be running into you here. <laughs> I guess it's my lucky day. How are your adventures going lately? Did you come here to get a new commission from Catherine or to get paid? And where are you going after this? Right, you've got a really exciting adventure lined up, huh? Oh, I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much. And, uh, maybe a little starstruck too. <laughs> Of course! You're the mysterious traveler, the hero who quelled the storm terror crisis, and the leader of your own adventure team to boot! If I'm being honest, I'm totally jealous of all your achievements. Yeah! Word's been spreading in adventurer circles for a long time now. Your adventure team shows up all over the continent. It might look like you're just handling a bunch of boring commissions, but then... As soon as something big goes down, you're always there! Anyway, I just really envy you. You're sort of like... the protagonist of this world or something. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I'm just some unlucky guy. My adventure team even... Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down in the dumps in front of someone I admire. I should be open to see what I can learn. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask. Um... When you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? Uh, <laughs> maybe you don't know. I'm a really unlucky person to have around. If you brought me along on an adventure, my bad luck would probably just screw everything up. I don't want to get you into any trouble, so just let me watch from the sidelines. That'd be good enough for me. Really? I didn't mishear you, did I? You mean, go adventure with you? Just like we do if I was on your adventure team? Wow, I never thought I'd get an opportunity like this! Aw, shucks. Hearing you say that has got me all flustered. <laughs> but I'm happy to hear it. By the way, since we've got this rare chance to work together, let me share some recent intel with you. According to my friend Fischl in the Guild, a mysterious and dangerous ruin has recently been discovered. Based on how the Guild ranks the difficulty of its commissions, it's probably between a rank B and a rank A. Normally, I wouldn't feel confident about taking on this level of commission. After all, with my poor luck, it's safer for me to take on commissions that are a few notches lower than my actual ability. <laughs> but since you'll be joining me this time, it'll be a piece of cake, right? There's no way the guild would issue an illegal commission like that. <laughs> By the way, this ruin might be a dangerous one, but that usually means there'll be some great treasure hidden inside. I can't wait! Oh, uh... Do you usually make some food before you set out on an adventure? Hmm, the cautious choice. No wonder you're so good at this. Seems I really can learn a few things from you. <laughs> In that case, as per your tradition, let's get cooking. Oh yeah, I actually invented a pretty nice dish recently. I can't say it's super tasty, but I think it'd be perfect for an adventure. So, how about I show you how to make it? Cool! I really miss that old feeling of working with a partner. The ingredients needed for this dish are mint, radish, and slime condensate. One of each, please. You got that, right? I'll wait for you near the pot at Good Hunter. Come find me when you're done collecting. I wonder how many bouquets I'll receive this year. Today's recommendation is the steak.
Which should I choose? <sighs> Behold, the princess and death. Today's recommendation. You got them all? That's fantastic! You've really outdone yourself! Now that we've got our ingredients, allow me to handle the cooking! It's done! I forgot the exact order you're supposed to add the ingredients in, but it should be alright. I'll pack it up and leave it with you until we get to the ruins. I think so? Should be... pretty much... basically the same as when I first came up with it, so... yep. <sighs> well, now that the food is ready, let's head for those mysterious ruins. It feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? <laughs> huh. It looks like the door in the front is closed and only the door behind us is open. That mechanism must be for opening the next door, right? Right. Well, we're on the same page at least. I'll go try to operate it. Just as I expected. <laughs> ah, so it is. Hmm. A true adventurer can't just barge on forward. It's also important to make sure there is a way back. That's what my dads always say. Let me try the mechanism one more time. Hmm. It seems to be jammed. This is not good. It seems that we can't get back the way we came. But don't let it get you down. This kind of thing happens all the time. We just have to believe that there's always a way out. What the? What's going on? Hey, did you hear that? It sounded like it came from the door up ahead of us. Could there be other people in the ruin too? Let's go check it out. Another adventurer by the looks of it. Hello, fellow adventurer. We, like you, are here to... Bennett? Uh, Royce? It's you! 
Oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so happy to see you again. How are you doing? I've been thinking about you and the other guild members a lot recently. This is the worst. <sighs> Why did I have to run into you? Oh. It took me forever to get this door open. Finally, I was about to advance further in, and all of a sudden, it closes again. Uh, I guess that's because I activated the mechanism just now. I knew it. I knew it! Of course it was you. I knew it as soon as I saw you. As long as you are around, no adventure can ever be a smooth ride. <sighs> this is turning into a very bad day. Who are you? And what the heck were you thinking, teaming up with Bennett? Hey, don't fight, don't fight! Let me introduce Royce, a former member of Benny's adventure team and an old friend of mine. Friend? I didn't even tell you I was leaving the team and you still think of me as... your friend? <sighs> Never mind. I'm a little on edge because what just happened? I'm sorry. Well, it was my fault. <laughs> you think? <sighs> I left because at that time, I really couldn't stand it a second longer. My adventures always used to go off without a hitch. But after joining your adventure team, I was tripping and falling one day, getting struck by lightning the next. Oh, and the number of times ruins would cave in on us? I just couldn't dismiss it as mere coincidence anymore. The last straw was when my left leg got hit by that random explosion that came out of nowhere. After that, I couldn't stand it anymore, both literally and figuratively. <sighs> so I left and went back to being an independent adventurer. Only afterward did I start hearing the horror stories about Benny's adventure team. <sighs> You're right. I really shouldn't have put the blame on him like that. All right, all right. It's all in the past now. Talking about all the bad things that happen will only make you more upset, right? Um, Royce, I still want to say sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Oh. <sighs> no need to apologize to me. I've made my fair share of mistakes, too. Oh, yeah. There's one more thing I need to tell you. The door we came through on the way in also got closed, and I don't think we can get it open again. So we're probably trapped here now. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> <sighs> Bennett! <laughs> Everything always goes wrong when I'm with you! Oh, well, there's nothing I can do. Sorry. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I've used up all my supplies already! This is it. This is how I go, isn't it? Here, today, and all because of Bennett! <laughs> well, I don't know what I could do to apologize. If you don't mind, maybe we can share some of our supplies with you? Uh, but of course, I'll have to check with my partner first. So, what do you think? <sighs> All right. I am quite hungry. I suppose I shall accept your kind offer. Is this the supplies you were talking about? Why do I have the feeling that this dish is a bit suspect? It's fine, honestly. It's been with my partner all along, so it shouldn't be tainted with my bad luck. If that's true, then... Okay. Anyway, this is not a time to nitpick. Then... I guess I'll just have a little bite. <sighs> Tastes a little... Huh, what a strange texture. Ugh. Mm. What is that churning feeling in my stomach? Bennett! Hey, what's wrong? Royce!
It feels pretty ordinary here. Could it be that big? Huh. That mechan- Right. Well, I'll go try it out. Just as I expected. <laughs> ah, so it is. Hmm. Let me try the me Hmm. It seems to be this is not but this kind of thing happened. What the Hey! Sound like let's go check. Another adventurer by the looks of it. Adventure time. Adventure. <gasps> Fellow adventurer, Bennett. Oh, uh, Roy. Oh no. I'm so happy to. Th this is the worst. Oh. It took me for. Uh. I knew it. As long as you. Who are you? Hey, don't let me introduce. Friend. <sighs> well. You think? But after joining, I just couldn't just the last straw. Only afterward. You're right. All right. I'll, um. Oh. <sighs> oh. Yeah. So we. <sighs> Bennett! <laughs> oh, well... <gasps> what am I gonna do? I've used up all my supplies already! This is it. This is how I go, isn't it? Here, today, and all because of Bennett! <laughs> well, I don't know what I could do to apologize. If you don't mind, maybe we can share some of our supplies with you? Uh, but of course, I'll have to check with my partner first. So, what do you think? But it was because of my bad luck, though. So, you mean, as the unlucky one, I should think of myself more? <laughs> you do have a point there. It's just, I've been used to thinking this way for a long time. Hearing you say that, though, I feel like maybe I do need to take better care of myself. Uh, I'm sorry, Royce. We'll have to keep the rest of our supplies for ourselves. But let's try to find a way out together. <laughs> Nobody cares about your supplies. Knowing you, they're probably cursed anyway. And as for finding the exit together, count me out. With Bennett around, I'm sure any exit I find will only be blocked. Well... Then take care, Royce. You... You take care too, Bennett. Get out of here! Take cover! Oh, that was so dangerous! I can't believe it! It's a trap! Hmm. Uh, nope, no lucky. Oh. What awful luck. I've checked every single nook and cranny in this place. Oh, still not a clue. Is there really no way out of here apart from that broken mechanism? Well, guess our only hope now is to wait for help. The Adventurer's Guild might notice our disappearance and send someone. Then again, that depends on how lucky we are. If the rescue team takes too long to find us, we might already be... Oh, I hate feeling helpless, sitting here waiting for the end to come. Oh, yeah, I am being a bit too pessimistic. No, come on, this isn't like me. Okay, let's double check our supplies. Our priority right now is figuring out how long we can hold out. Take out the dish I packed. It's probably a little late for this, but it looks kind of strange. Hmm. Is there really something wrong with my cooking? Ah, uh, this is bad. This is all we've got in terms of supplies. 
I should have thought this through more. Hey, wait a minute. Ugh. Maybe we can find another use for it. Long story short, I once got injured when I was in this severely dangerous place and I got knocked unconscious. I really thought that was gonna be the end of me. But turns out that's not how it went. Instead, according to Guildmaster Cyrus who rescued me, after I lost consciousness, it was as if my bad luck just stopped affecting me. He took me back to Mondstadt without encountering any trouble at all along the way. And another time, I got knocked out in a field during a thunderstorm, but then I went the whole night without getting struck by lightning. I wonder if my bad luck is related to whether I'm awake or not. Or in other words, it might be my consciousness that brings me bad luck. Not really a sacrifice. I was just thinking... Maybe if I eat this strange dish, it's possible that I'll lose consciousness, right? Once my bad luck is gone, surely help will be here soon. <laughs> it's okay. It's better than dragging you and Royce down with me. You made a great point earlier when you said that I should take better care of myself. But right now, this is a life or death situation. Hope you can understand. <sighs> here goes. Benny's Adventure Team, assemble! Adventure time! <gasps> Off we go! <laughs> oh, it's you! Didn't think- How are your adventures going lately? Did you come here to get a new commission from Cap- And where are you going after this? Bet you've got a really exciting adventure lined up, huh? Oh, I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm, I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much. And, uh, of course! You're the mysterious traveler! If I'm being honest, I'm- totally jealous of all your achievements. Yeah, word's been spreading and it might look like you're just handling a bunch of boring commission. Anyway, I just really am. Me on the other hand? Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get... Speaking of which, I have a fi- Um, when you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? Uh, <laughs> maybe you don't. If you brought me along, I don't want to get you into it. Hmm? Something else? I guess you're right. Even just the chance to talk with you would be great too. Yeah, let's forget about adventuring for now. <laughs> but, uh, what would we do instead? Apart from going on adventures, the only other thing I do is take care of my dads in the Adventurer's Guild. So, I really can't think of anything else to do besides adventuring. Alright, I feel like whatever we do, as long as you're involved, it'll be totally worth it. Uh, but don't forget, I'll be bringing my bad luck with me. So it probably won't be a very fun trip. <laughs> that's good, that's good. I was afraid you'd back out. So, where are we gonna go? That's a good idea! For someone like me, I'm actually way more familiar with the wilderness than the city. Especially around Mondstadt. 
I mean, I'm not on the same level as Fischl, who is also in the Adventurer's Guild. But that's expected, because she works in the Intelligence Department. Oh, I know this gorgeous place. It's sort of a dandelion-covered meadow. It's got a great Mondstadt feel. Do you want to check it out? Awesome. I was worried that it wouldn't be your thing. Uh, shall we? Yourselves. By royal decree! Gliding be faster. Huh. Brace yourselves. Huh. Uh. Think you can get away? Huh. How rude. Let's play. Time for takeoff. Here we go! <laughs> Time for takeoff! Brace yourselves! Oz, reveal thyself! Here we go! Time for takeoff! Play! Adventure time!
Uh, what happened? It wasn't like this the last time I saw it. The dandelions are all stripped bare of seeds. Was there a windstorm? Or did some strange creature come by? I'm so sorry, bringing you all this way for only you to end up seeing nothing. Well, that's true. But then again, the unpredictable is to be expected when my luck's involved. Well, there's not much reason to stay here anymore. But how about we take a walk around the area? Maybe we'll find something interesting. Hey! Do you see that? There's a monster camp up ahead! I can see a whole load of treasure chests with no monsters guarding them! I was hoping I'd get a chance to flex my muscles a bit. Where did all the monsters go? This is weird. For me, this kind of good fortune is super rare. It must be because you're here. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Ooh, I wonder what goodies are hidden in those chests. I created another universe and founded paradise, for I, Fischl, am the princess in Defer er oh. <sighs> We didn't miss any, right? Hmm? What's the problem? We got so much stuff today! We should be happy! How come you look so down? Hmm? Chests are always like this, aren't they? A few loose mora, occasionally a cabbage, maybe a radish or something. A bit of mora and some ingredients to fill our stomachs? That's good enough for me. The kind of chests you mentioned that have weapons, artifacts, or some other treasures inside? Aren't they super, super rare? I've only seen them in places that are so dangerous you'd have to risk life and limb to get there. Right? So let's not ask for too much. Let's keep walking. Who knows when the monsters might return. Shall we? It's so nice here. The breeze is so comforting. Really lifts my mood. I've been adventuring alone for a long time. It feels so nice to have company. Honestly, I miss it a lot. <laughs> oh, uh, not that I'm super lonely or anything. I've got my dads to keep me company when I'm not out adventuring. Actually, 
Did I tell you about my dads already? Back in the day, they were all great adventurers. They've got so many cool stories. They were the ones who rescued me from a perilous place when I was just a baby. And together, they raised me. Now, they're all old and frail. Some of them can't even walk by themselves anymore. So, it's my turn to take care of them. I'd love to take you to meet them sometime. You'd be blown away by some of their stories. Absolutely! I picked up most of my adventure expertise from them. They're incredible! By the way, you did bring a wind glider with you today, right? The weather is so nice and the wind speed is perfect. Why don't we take the chance to go for a glide? Uh... Oh. Uh, sorry, I didn't see this coming. Not to this extent, at least. Well, it seems that we'd better give up on that idea. Let's go do something else. Bennett! So there you are. Hi, Jack. Is something going on? Are you here to see me? Some of the older adventurers in the guild are really hurting from their arthritis again. It could be because of the humidity today. You mean my dad's? That's too bad. They'll need someone to take care of them. Well, you're the one who usually looks after them, right? They're all asking for you. Okay, I'll be right over. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, thanks for understanding. Though, I feel pretty bad leaving you here. We'd better hurry back. They're all waiting for you. Okay. Okay, sure. Well... I have to go now. Let me treat you to something next time. Oh. Bye. How come the weather suddenly brightened up the second Bennett left? It's you! Didn't think I'd be running into you here. <laughs> I guess it's my lucky day! How are your adventures going lately? Did you come here to get a new commission from Catherine, or to get paid? And where are you going after this? Bet you've got a really exciting adventure lined up, huh? The name's Bennett. I'm your run-of-the-mill adventurer from Mondstadt. Oh, I'm talking too much, aren't I? I'm sorry. I was just so excited to run into someone I admire so much, and, uh... Maybe a little starstruck, too. <laughs> of course! You're the mysterious traveler, the hero who quelled the storm terror crisis, and the leader of your own adventure team to boot! If I'm being honest, I'm totally jealous of all your achievements. Yeah! Word's been spreading in adventurer circles for a long time now. Your adventure team shows up all over the continent. It might look like you're just handling a bunch of boring commissions, but then... As soon as something big goes down, you're always there! Anyway, I just really envy you. You're sort of like... the protagonist of this world or something. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I'm just some unlucky guy. My adventure team even... Uh, never mind. I shouldn't get all down in the dumps in front of someone I admire. I should be open to see what I can learn. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask. Um... When you go adventuring later, can I come and watch? Uh, <laughs> maybe you don't know. I'm a really unlucky person to have around. 
if you brought me along on an adventure, my bad luck would probably just screw everything up. I don't want to get you into any trouble, so just let me watch from the sidelines. That'd be good enough for me. Hmm? Something else? I guess you're right. Even just the chance to talk with you would be great too. Yeah, let's forget about adventuring for now. <laughs> but, uh, what would we do instead? Apart from going on adventures, the only other thing I do is take care of my dads in the Adventurer's Guild. So, I really can't think of anything else to do besides adventuring. Alright, I feel like whatever we do, as long as you're involved, it'll be totally worth it. Uh, but don't forget, I'll be bringing my bad luck with me. So, it probably won't be a very fun trip. <laughs> that's good, that's good. I was afraid you'd back out. So, where are we gonna go? Cool, that would be nice. I was planning to stock up on some adventuring supplies anyway. Oh, sorry. I'm back to talking about adventuring again. You must think I'm so boring. Really? Well, of course you do. You are a famous adventurer, after all. Uh, how about we go to the souvenir store? With Wind Comes Glory is my favorite shop ever. What can I say? Mondstadt's where I grew up. Let's go! Come take a look. There will definitely be something that can... Marjorie! Oh, hello, Bennett. I haven't seen you for a long time. I thought you were off adventuring in some faraway place that I've never heard of. <laughs> no, no, it's just I got myself into a tight spot out there. Ended up getting held up for quite a while. <laughs> what else is new? So, what are you looking to buy this time? Oh, I was just checking in to see if the stuff I ordered last time was ready. Thought I'd bring my friend along. You mean... Herman's custom adventure map? That's right! An adventure map drawn personally by Herman, the great adventurer! It shows loads of recommended places for adventuring, and with his comments, too! Well, it did arrive, but unfortunately, the cart tipped over in a puddle on the way here. Most of the goods were fine, but since the adventure map was an ink drawing, it's completely ruined. What? Oh, shoot! That's such a shame! Yes, I am the one who has to bear the loss, after all. <sighs> Maybe I should reconsider whether I'm happy to accept orders from Bennett in the future. Okay, well, do you have any alchemist's goggles? I've been thinking about replacing the old goggles on my head for a long time. I heard that there's a new type of goggles made specially for alchemists. When you wear them, you can see all the elements, even the slightest traces of elemental energy. Oh, I'm afraid these alchemist goggles you refer to are just a rumor. I talked to that alchemist, Timaeus. He told me there's no such thing. Oh, are you kidding me? My hopes dashed yet again. Well, how about some slime gel gloves? They exist, right? I saw an adventurer using them once. No matter what the weather, they can grip onto rock when climbing. I call them non-slip gloves. Those do exist. Unfortunately, we sold out of them just yesterday. They're quite a popular product. <laughs> it's okay. No big deal. I'm pretty much used to coming home empty-handed when I go shopping. Don't let it bother you. Oh, hey. How about I treat you to a meal at Good Hunter? We've been hanging out for a while now. You must be getting hungry, right? Let's go! <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Table for two, please. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't think we'll be able to serve you two today. Huh? How come? 
It doesn't seem really busy here. <sighs> well, how can I put this? Just before you two arrived, we received an order. An entire delegation from Snezhnaya has come to stay at the Goth Grand Hotel, and they asked us to provide a meal service. So, although you might not see many people here, the kitchen is in fact busier than it's ever been. <sighs> they really know how to rope people into doing things for them. If only they hadn't offered to pay so much. Oh, I've actually never had any dealings with them. But I have heard that they're arrogant and aggressive. In which case, there probably isn't much we can do about it. Well, how about we just head to Mondstadt General Goods? We can at least get some basic adventure supplies. What do you think? You're in, right? <laughs> Let's go. Huh, that's strange. The owner, Blanche, isn't here. Hmm, that's really rare. Let's go over there and see what that sign says. Wow! Is this for real? A discount? I mean, sure, but not when I'm around. I've never had such good luck before. <laughs> it must be because I'm with you. Wow, lucky folk really have it different. <laughs> You're so nice. Then again, any discount's a bit meaningless without Blanche being here. Shall we wait here for a while? When Blanche comes back, I'm gonna buy a bunch. After all, this is a rare opportunity, especially for someone like me. <sighs> Blanche is taking quite a while. It must be an emergency. I feel like she hardly ever leaves the counter. Patience is a virtue for adventurers too. There's no rush. Do you think that... <sighs> Blanche is in some kind of trouble? I'm getting a bit worried. The 50% discount is a big deal, but compared to Blanche's safety, I mean... Hmm. It's probably just all this waiting around making my imagination run wild, I guess. <sighs> Come on, snap out of it! Hmm. I don't usually say this, but... Do you think it's time we gave up? Blanche probably won't be back today, right? I guess I overestimated my luck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got so obsessed with the idea of that discount that I didn't stop to consider your feelings. Oh, are you waiting for me? Blanche! We've been waiting for you for ages! You're finally back! I was getting worried about you. What happened? Did you run into some kind of trouble? Oh, nothing like that. I was just sorting some things out at home. Thanks for your concern, though. But why are you two waiting anyway? I posted a noticing that we'd be closed today. Closed? We didn't see a sign like that. And anyway, isn't it 50% off the whole store today? That's the whole reason we waited all this time. Uh, let me check. Hmm, that's weird. It looks like someone removed the close sign. Or maybe the I... wind blew it away? The half-price notice you saw was for yesterday. Sorry about that. Oh. Thanks. I'm fine. I should have seen this coming. So, so sorry. I feel like I've done nothing but waste your time all day. No matter what I do really can't shake my bad luck. Oh, it's getting a bit late. I don't think you can accomplish anything if you keep on hanging out with me. So, let's part ways for now. And maybe next time it'll be different. That is, if you still want to hang out with me next time.
I do worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurer's Guild are absolutely fine, main Fräulein. The neighboring nation of Liyue has the most prosperous commercial port in all of Tibet. commercial port in all of Tibet. The neighboring nation of Liyue has the most prosperous commercial port in all of Tibet. of Liyue has the most prosperous commercial port in all of Tibet. The neighboring nation of Liyue has the most prosperous commercial port in all of Tibet. of Liyue has the most prosperous commercial port in all of Tibet. The neighboring nation of Liyue has the most prosperous commercial port in all of Tibet. 